Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition with mods. We are currently playing with Captain Jean-Luc Picard and the full away team. No red coats here. No, no, no. Only the best of the best. I said red coats. Didn't mean red coats. I meant red shirts. Red coats were the uh, Revolutionary Army and they did pretty well from what I remember. So red shirts. They're the ones that die all the time. No red shirts here. No, no, no. We are currently on episode, episode, expedition three of six and uh, well we're, we're in a good old state with new marino we've got a little bit of moolah a little bit more moolah coming in and more importantly uh, we have picked up a perk to allow us to travel to the ices uh, fairly fairly safely i say fairly safely nothing's guaranteed in this game but it's a better chance than the other ones we've got so we are going to crack on with the guajaja arctic uh, there are three temples two of the snow villages things uh, we've got a a shrine and a village so let's crack on shall we now this might seem a little bit rushed uh, but the fact of the matter is and it's something i will go into detail at a very near point probably next week uh just to explain what's going on with the channel i am struggling to find time right now to record but let's not dampen this episode let's crack on shall we after being too excited to sleep i made my way to the docks there were still some arrangements to be made so i saw if there was anything i could do Soon after my arrival, the hunter approached me. He was eager to see the evidence of Snarf Rattle's death. Oh yeah! We killed Snarf Rattle. We handed over Snarf Rattle's pelt. The hunter nodded quietly and I saw a faint sign of sadness crossing his weathered face. Ah, uh, well, we did what we had to do. Give me my money, 100. Funds. We were given new funds as a thank you for our endeavour. A merchant greeted me this morning. He asked us to obtain a mysterious idol that was said to be located in a native settlement in the area we were headed to. He promised worthwhile recompense if we were able to return with it. Well, why not? Let's give it a whirl. He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our expedition. I was proud to see that my fame had spread amongst adventurous spirits. I was approached by several capable persons who were eager to go on an adventure with us because I completely misread that line. Who did I want to recruit? Uh, well, you know what? We don't need anyone. We've got a full team, thanks. And I don't think any of you would fit back on the USS Enterprise quite so well as the multi-faceted group that we have right now so no thank you just in time our ship was ready to set sail all right what do we actually need i mean we've got food we've got medicine we've got rope we don't need torches i don't think we need a lot really we've got a shed load of bullets i mean it'd be rude not to look uh we could i mean vino i'm all for vino we've got the replicators it would take up more space which really we don't need I mean, all in all, we're in a darn good condition. I mean, we could buy a hunting rifle. Cost of 80. Why not? And let's buy all the snowshoes. And I suppose just fill up on a bit of rope. So four rope to make that 10. Three medicine to make that 10. That's pretty much it, I think. Dynamite, maybe? Two of them? We're running pretty close to full. That's my only problem. I don't really want to go over if I can help it. Uh, it's all tradable. It's all tradable. That's fine. Uh, I rejoiced as the ship was primed to set sail. Let's go. Expedition Trio. Trey? Trez? Don't know if ways of saying three. Well, here we are. We are in the bottom left-hand corner. Or if you want to get all technical... The southwest. The open seas were glorious to sail upon, and I was somewhat sad that we reached the land of our imminent adventure. Why would you be sad? I knew this place held some, something special for us. All right, let's go, let's go. I mean, we're on. Is it still four regions? We've already spotted where the uh, the camps are, and what do you call them? A polar station. That'd be it. Um, let's just rock on and see what there is. I suppose. Aha! Our first shrine. We'll go there presently. Uh, that's going to be a cave. Uh, the thing is, with that cave, it's kind of in the middle of a snow... snow flow? Ice flow? Ice flow. Ice flow? Is that the right word? I don't know. Basically, as soon as we step on that, we can't come back, so... 
Let's uh, explore and get off it as quick as possible. Uh, we located a cave. The rocky moor led into the darkness of unknown depths. We required a torch to explore its secrets. We have a lantern. Oh, we used our pumpkin lantern to illuminate our descent. We found a small cavern strewn with the detritus of what seemed to be a failed expedition. We found the rotten remains of what must have been a French explorer. Oh la la. Ooh, the bones we found. All the bones we found had been cracked open and it seems sucked empty of marrow. We were delighted to see that one of the corpses was still clinging to some useful equipment. Ooh. That is rather useful. I mean, are we going to be overburdened straight away? Is that what you're telling me? Pretty, pretty much. All right. Let's do this. I mean, at this point, it's not good. Portal traversal, springs creation, random teleportation, homebound. I mean, essentially, we don't need the climbing gear. I can always drop it. And then I've just got to make one really tough decision. Um, I think I'm going to drop what's left of the snowshoes. Because they're about, about to run out anyway. Uh, let's die, it looks like. Uh, let's eat some of them. Replicate some more. Still, we can't get home. All right. We'll go as far as we can go. And eat some more. So there. I mean, this is a bit of a moot thing to do, really. I mean, is it... It makes sense, doesn't it, to do what we can as far as getting back to the ship and dropping off what we have. I'm just scared. I've got that sort of... You know what uh, the um, you get it when you play Skyrim like that. I, I might need it later. That's how I feel right now. We might need this later. We might run into something really big and need lots of bullets. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, am I being greedy? We've got the replicator. We've got two guns. You know what? I'm going to leave 20 bullets behind. I'm going to go against my better judgment and leave 20 bullets behind. Um, I think whilst we're here, though, Let's just have a sleepy. We decided it'd be a good idea to stay here to catch our breath. It was a warm and starry night. While sitting around the campfire, we heard that sounded like a fight coming from nearby. A young native was striving to fend off a ferocious animal. Uh, I mean, it's always good to get a bit of help. Oh, a gorilla in the, in the Arctic. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, so... I mean, just going for the killing blow straight away. Doesn't stack. Why not? We'll pull a taunt on, just in case. Um, I mean, at this point, swift kick in the nuts is always useful. Uh, let's let's see what we can do with these. Cutting the post. How much does it have? Eleven. That's three. So that's down to eight. Let's throw some of these in. Because why in the hell not? Just the three there. All right. What can I do with you? Rip a leaf. I'll take that. Oh, well, a bit of overkill. Never mind. He's deed. We deprive the remains of anything useful. I'll take the paws. And we'll take the teeth. I settled down for the night. Lovely. I, I, is he still with us? He's still with us. All right, we'll get rid of him in a second. Uh, right, so, um, storage, get rid of the gorilla, pause, sleep again. We settled down and told the people to rest. This was a good place, and I was sure we'd be, get some more deserved rest here. This is truly a fantastic land, and we were curious to see what wonders awaited. Two trailers, I know. We're on it, don't we? Right, so, back to the expedition. Goodbye to you. Good, sir. Godspeed. And then onwards. Uh, I mean, at this point, do we dare? Do we dare? I mean, it'd be a good way of trading some stuff in, I suppose. 
we're gonna have we're gonna have a mooch. We'll see what the guys got to offer. We're gonna buy some tickets anyway if we wanna sleep or travel. It's not a very long distance. That's the only thing. Look how big this bloody map is, and they're right next to each other. Not good. Not good. Right. So let's trade. We've got the bargaining up. Fifteen tickets for fifty. Do I, need, I don't really need 15 tickets, do I? Seven, I think, will be sufficient. And you can have, good sir. You can have, have, have. I mean, I don't need that. Springs creation would be a little bit useful in case someone gets injured. One of those. All right. One of them, two of them, three of them, two of them. What if I put another one in? Two of them, three of them, four of them, five of them, six, seven, eight, nine. Still not even, is it? All right, that'll do. All right, so let's uh, use the dog sled. The haggard man started croaking about tickets again. Apparently these tickets would buy me passage with his sled. The ticket he showed me felt strange to touch. What was it made of? He offered me to travel to the following stations. All right, let's go. Haul them. I was kind of hoping you'd go of a bit more of an exotic route than that, but never mind. All right, so let's see what you've got. Pretty much the same sort of stuff. And I'm not that interested. Not right now, anyway. I mean, I could buy some dynamite, I suppose. That will stack. Dynamite. Have all of them. Dino. Bang on. And... We might as well rest as well. The warm beds will welcome reprieve from the cold. Considering the circumstances, I slept like royalty. There was even warm water. I suppose I just dreamt it, but when I woke, I could remember the power man looking down on me from the ceiling. In the morning, the power man was gone. So who's that then? Childs! Ah. Sleeping here was such a fortunate break from roughing it in the snow. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw some things scurry away in the shadows. I awoke after a quiet night and uneventful night in the morning the power man was gone loves the power man let's go right well let's go and have a look see what this is i mean it's out in the middle of nowhere stone circle we came across the stone circle that seemed to be man-made there were inscriptions painted upon each rock let's go for the ruins ah splendid i mean 22 to there 26 to there. Let's go to there and see if there's anything else around it. I'm hoping it'll be cut off. And we can just scarf afterwards. I think it's pretty safe to say there's going to be nothing else around. Uh, we will, however... Mm, actually, we're not doing too bad. Polar bear, arctic wolf. We can always travel down. That's fine. I found the last remnant of a long forgotten civilization. The obsidian stones this shrine was made of were too big for any man to carry. When the large portal opened, a gust of wind rushed toward me. It smelled salty like the ocean, but old, like its most hidden, most ancient depths. A thick layer of sand seemed to surround the structure. Awesome! We like sand. Sand is good. Below I could sense something teeming, and I immediately closed my mind off to the possibility. I felt something feel around in my mind, probing, seeking. I was not sure if what was before me was blah, 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 was an altar stone or an impact crater of something that crashed here from above. Ooh, it's got monies and gold, though. We'll take it all. What a glorious day! The treasure was ours for the taking. We took the treasure and proceeded outside as the whole area behind us began to wither and die. A drastic climate shift ravaged this region, and we were responsible. Well, you know, I, I don't think it's that bad, considering. Uh, again, we shall drop the snowshoes. I mean, really, I need to trade stuff in. Have I got a bit of OTT on action stuff? I mean, we can promote people. I don't think anyone's capacity is going to go up. That's the only problem. So, sight. Sanity would be good, I suppose. Pure mind. health i mean actually no one's got sanity i suppose sight to be the best then let's go with geordie 
Boom. All uh, right, onwards and upwards. Let's try to go to there. Ooh, a ship. We found something highly unusual. The remains of a decayed boat loomed in front of us. It looked like an old pirate ship. Time had certainly taken its toll on the once majestic vessel. I attempted to discover its name, the HMS Beagle. How peculiar. This area was marked heavily by animal tracks. I had to keep moving or end as someone's dinner. I was confident we would find something valuable here. We formed small teams and scoured the place. A rope and dynamite. Oh, yeah, we're all stacked. It's fine by me. And we've got some... Uh, some ferocious wildlife to deal with it would seem arctic wolf i say okay i need to use up these bullets all right so throw the bullets in bish bash just the one punctuation i'll give that to you uh, you you three on you what do you do then quick shot shotgun blast Done. Boom. Right, what do you have? We have the Arctic Wolf Pelt, which is fairly valuable, in all fairness. Or... The Teeth. Well, the Teeth will take. I'm not too fussed by the Wolf Pelt. They've got a little bit of value at home. But we're getting plenty of jewels at the moment, so I'm not too fussed by that. And it's going to take a valuable weight. So no thank you, sir. No thank you. Uh, we'll carry on. Here's the thing. If we get stuck out here, which is a good possibility we will do, we're pretty much stuck. Uh, let's go to... Oh, let's see some of that first. Let's go to there and see what is going on exactly. Oh, actually, we should be all right. Excuse me a second. <coughs> so. We need some more of those. I mean, can we, can, we can't get over in one, can we? Let's attempt to go to there. We're probably going to have to get in a fight. Or not. I mean, we can carry on going. Or not. Right, let's do this. Uh, a few more of those. You. You and you by yourself, I suppose. You. And you for you. What do you do? I'll do. More teeth, please. Can't carry the rest. And uh, more of those. And on to what is inevitably going to be the pyramid. Um, let's eat the strawberries. That should get us over the line. Boom. Oh, we can tap the polar bear. Let's do that first. Sounds like fun. So we post you, you and you for punctuation. I like kicking polar bears in the nuts. Twice. Let's whip them up. Can I do anything with you? Guess not. We have a shotgun blast. What we got? What's that worth? See, that's worth a bit more. Is it worth dropping five bullets for? That's the question. 20 fame. It's not really that high, I suppose, in the grand scheme of things. We'll carry on. So. More of those. Now, this is where we need to start treading softly, softly. So... Wow, I can't even get up on the ridge. That's ridiculous. Right, so. That's up. Let's explore. Oh, I don't like the look of this. I don't like the look of this at all. Okay, well, that's all right. We'll keep on keeping on. I mean, we can take out the wolf. Oh, my life. Whew. Uh, right. 
<laughs> More bullets. I don't need them. Uh, we can put you, you, and... Oh. That's it. Come on to that. One of you. We'll throw it off. There's no need to bring Wharf into this, but hey-ho. Uh, we'll have you... What do you do? Point blank. Boom. We're just filling up on teeth here. We are the collectors of teeth this time around. Oh, well, you got 60. So let's replicate. Uh, we're not too fussed by you either. Do you go up again? Hmm. I suppose we better put our good reputation up. He's on three already, though. You know what? Let's do our, our bartering. Right, let's have a quick look. I'm not... Am I willing to put anything in here? We found an imposing stone altar located in the midst of a natural jungle clearing. Despite the lush vegetation surrounding it, the altar was in perfect shape. A hewn depression was filled with surprisingly clean water. Imaginary or imagery even, hinted that objects could be sacrificed by putting them in the water. I mean, what would I sacrifice? I mean, you could have bullets. But we're not even close. Um, oh, they like teeth. I like teeth. You know what? I can live with that. I can live with that. Uh, half the teeth, fine. Don't need the bullets. More space for us. I'll drop the offering in the water. The sacrifice was swallowed by the water and was never seen again. I could not help but wonder just how deep my precious items would sink. I still can't gaze into reflection. Got no one to bring back, I suppose. Never mind. Never mind. I've never used it properly that in all fairness i mean i kind of know what it does i just never used it right so i think at this point it is just a case of getting home we can get going the long way he says sort of this way um it's not allowing me to show you right so up to here and then you follow that ridge line down and then we blow up a few mountains just to the west of where it says i am right now but as you all know i like to make sure that we look at everything on the way out and uh, as long as we take it slowly but surely i think we could hit here then up to here to which point we're dead hmm i mean at that point because there is no other way after that, is there? There is no other way. We could do a random teleportation and see where that takes us. And then, worst case scenario, if we're stuck again, we could do Homeward Bound and always trek on out. You know what? This isn't the end of it. This, is, this isn't... What am I doing with that? Back, please. Um, I, I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we're going to attempt to make sure we find everything. And, it, well, if we don't, we'll be dying trying, which is fine by me. So, yes, um, I'm very aware that my partner and son are going to be back any seconds. So I want to end it here. So I shall see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.